Hey guys, Rob Boehner, producer at LiveX here, and today I've got an unboxing of the Hilo from AJA Video Systems. Now, uh, the Hilo was one of the most exciting products that we saw at NAB last year, and uh, it took us forever to get it, uh, even though we pre-ordered it as soon as possible. But um, it's finally here, it has arrived. This is it. Um, it is a streaming device and recorder that uh, stands alone. So it's a hardware encoder uh, that streams an H.264 RTMP to the destination of your choice. And the reason why that's really important is that a lot of people are skeptical of software encoders. Uh, this is perfectly understandable. Uh, software encoders are typically built on Windows or Mac systems and you know computers can fail and crash. Hardware encoders, uh, for the most part, you give it a signal, you point it to the destination, and it just works. It just continues to go. And as long as you don't pull power or pull signal, uh, chances are um, the stream will keep on going. Obviously, internet can be a big factor in that, so you gotta make sure you have proper bandwidth. So on the front, of the Hilo, we have all the different I.O. and options. You can see we have a record button, a stream button. Uh, these are very dumb buttons, meaning they don't look like they have any lights to them. That's why they have a light next to each one of them. You know, really that's all you need is to push stream and push record. It records to an SD card, uh, as well as you can record directly to a USB um, drive. Uh, that's why this has got this USB storage. Um, it also has a mini uh, USB config input for being able to connect it to your laptop and configure all the settings uh, with the uh, included software. So um, once again, the Hilo is an H.264 stream record. It records an H.264 file, the same quality, resolution, codec that you are streaming. So if you have a 4,500 kilobit per second or four and a half megabits per second uh, HD stream to YouTube, for instance, um, then it will record the uh, 1920 by 1080 H.264 4,500 kilobits per second um, stream to the USB storage or the SD card. The USB storage option is really nice because it allows you uh, extra storage for very long streams in case you need to continually record that H.264. The SD card is also really nice because it allows you to uh, hand off the SD card to the client immediately or um, pop it in a SD card reader and transfer to another USB once you're done to put with the rest of your records. Uh, power status light on the front uh, as well as the on the back we have the um, AJA power supply. Now this is very similar to all of AJA's uh, converters and uh, most of the products have this type of locking connection. It's a very solid locking connection, even though it is plastic on the end. Uh, it has these nice grooves where you can lock in the power supply. Um, it also has a local area network connection, um, so you can access the device over the network. Uh, as long as you have this plugged into a switch and you have another computer plugged into that switch and you put in the IP of this machine, then you can pull up uh, that device. So uh, SDI in, SDI out, HDMI in, HDMI out, audio in and out. Um, if you don't have embedded audio, then you're bringing in audio via the um, included eighth inch jacks. However, I would recommend where possible embedding your audio into the SDI or HDMI signal with a, uh, some type of an embedder. Um, AJA makes some really great ones. So that's pretty much uh, all we have on the box itself. Now let's see what else is included. We have a note about the firmware. You're going to want to um, go to AJA's website and download the firmware. Um, that's AJA.com slash products slash Hilo hashtag support. You know, 
anything that you get uh, and you open out of the box for the first time, it's generally a good idea to go to the manufacturer's website and check the firmware, make sure you're up to date, especially with um, us and the fact that we pre-ordered this device and we know this is one of the first ones out in the wild. So we wanna make sure that um, some bugs, that bug improvements and features have been, that have been included since the initial release are now loaded onto this via firmware. Elsewhere in the box, we have the USB mini cable for accessing it directly if you're not going to access it over the network and configuring the settings, as well as uh, bits and bobs for power and the power supply itself. Uh, anyone who's dealt with uh, AJA products are, is very familiar with this type of power supply and you probably have several of these lying around if you are dedicated to AJA products. It's a pretty flexible power source, 5 to 20 volt DC uh, power, uh, which allows you to use almost any AJA power supply to power this. Uh, in case you lose it or it gets stuck in the bottom of a GAT kit or whatever, something like that. Um, so, yeah, it's a, it's a hardware encoder, standalone, very economical uh, from that perspective, as well as it gives you a lot of cool features like the SD card uh, record and the USB storage, supports HDMI and SDI inputs as well as audio in via eighth inch and LAN ethernet control. So that is pretty much it for the AJA Hilo. Uh, once again, I'm Rob Baynard, producer at LiveX, and this has been another unboxing. Thanks for watching.